This exercise is a forward lunge. For the demonstration purposes of this video, I'm gonna show you how to do this exercise both without weights and with weights. To start, we'll do it without any weights. Now this is gonna require some coordination because the arms are gonna be moving in conjunction with the legs. I'm gonna show you a side view of this exercise using the left leg. So, to start, you'll be standing with your feet roughly shoulder width apart. From here, you're gonna take the left leg, in this case, and step forward to a comfortable position with the foot flat on the ground. From here, you're gonna lower your body weight down toward the ground, keeping the shin of this front leg relatively vertical, making sure it doesn't go too far forward over the toes or too far back in this direction. So again, shin vertical, and then you're just gonna stand back up. So I needed to take a wider step on that, on that lunge and I'll show you why. So when I take a wider step, I have more room for my back knee to sink down toward the ground, lightly tap, and then stand back up. So now I'm gonna introduce the arm movement and the arms are gonna be opposite of the legs, just like when you walk or when you run. So if I'm stepping with the left leg, I'm gonna move my right arm forward and my left arm back. So it'll look like this, slow and controlled, back to the start. Slow and controlled, back to the start. When you're performing the lunge, you wanna make sure that the leg that is lunging stays in line with the foot. So you don't want the leg or the knee, so to speak, to move too far outward or too far inward. You wanna keep everything in a nice, straight line, okay? So that's how you perform the forward lunge without any weights. I'm gonna now show you how to perform the forward lunge with dumbbells. Everything stays exactly the same, except instead of moving the arms with the legs, now you're just holding the dumbbells by your side throughout the whole entire range of motion. So again, up tall, step, sink down, come back up to the start position, and repeat this process in a slow and controlled manner for as many times as you like. Now it's important to remember, there are going to be individualized differences from person to person with this exercise like all the others. So this is a general overview as to how to approach the forward lunge. 